This Tampa Bay Bucks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet $100 at WinBet and get a $100 free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T to claim your free bet today. Hey, this is LeGarrette Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Crame dog. Oh, uh, we're in Florida. So that's good. It's humid talking strip clubs, talking, <laughs> talking uh, HGH. Oh, really? There's not enough. Uh, maybe we, we go right, right to the jungle, right? Uh, right to the X files music, because I gotta be honest. How long has it been since we've investigated? I mean, a two week hiatus to do what? <laughs> is this a, is this a, a, a pre trip to Germany? Well, if you square don't- away, get the pre procedure done because who knows, may, will we see a top is Tom Brady going to come back with a new nose, <laughs> a new knee, come, it, that'd a be new- great. If he came back with like sweet tits, Giant. And he does, Tom Brady just says awesome cans and he uses it to distract the defense. To- um, it was. It was reminding me of this uh, Simpsons episode where Krusty goes on the run because he has gambling debts. He bet against the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, he goes. He goes to get a uh, plastic surgery, and he looks exactly the same, but he just has uh, amazing breasts. Uh, it, what Kramer's referring to, if you've missed the news, Tom Brady has stepped away from the NFL. Supposedly he's going to come back uh, after week two of the preseason. Well, They're being very. <laughs> Secretive as far as like what the reasoning is. Allegedly scheduled. Yeah. Like pre planned. Like no one's surprised here. Oh, yeah. Totally normal for our, our quarterback just to disappear for a couple preseason games. But what? Um, I don't know. It, what could it be? They say it's like family stuff, personal stuff. He's They're, old and he doesn't want to do training camp. Is yeah, but then why would, well, But he started training camp and he's the guy who. Mr. I work every day. I put in all the extra time. I'm breaking down all the film. I do. I had the TB 12 training method. Like this guy well, isn't afraid to work. If it was an older vet who liked to dog it, I, I could say it's something related to that. I think it's clearly Sean Giselle is, Ooh. is running the, she wasn't really happy about him coming back to play oh, football no. last year. Is there a chance Tom Brady doesn't come back? Ryan? Is there a greater than zero percent chance that he does not come back? <laughs> that would be the ultimate yes. pussy whip move. If you announce your retirement, then you say no, I'm not retired. But then you actually retire. Then you that, come back. But that yeah. is very Brady thing. Well, I mean, look, I, th- I, you know, you you can't ignore the fact that he did retire. He had a moment where he said he was done. Yeah. Some some sports, it's hard to it's hard to get that pedal back down, right? And I would even go a step further. So maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's emotional, right? He 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 said I'm done. He poured out that football emotion. He said, you know what? No, I'm back in. And then he got to camp and said, fuck, it's hard. I need a second to collect myself. It's 2022. We need we need a quick break, reset. Everyone's gonna be cool with this. The team will just say it's planned. I'm an old guy. I'm Tom Brady. No one will really care. Keep him off the scent. Or have you seen the movie uh, Repo Man? In the future, where they put uh, prosthetic Organs in people uh, to help them get through whatever you know. Maybe it's cancer, maybe whatever. They put these prosthetics in, but they they get you on the hook. And, and when you can't pay the vig, they come and they take your organ and kill you. Mm. What if one of the let's just call them prosthetics wasn't performing up the snuff? <laughs> As a new fan of Formula One, sometimes you see a free practice one, free practice two. They're running some new new parts out on the car, and they're just not working. What if Tom Brady, what if Tom Brady's parts 
these parts allowing him to play until he's 50 fucking years old got repossessed. What if something is uh, not working, not optimized and he's got to take a step away, maybe head back over to Germany and get that tune up earlier than 30,000 miles. That's in the re- that there is a non-zero uh, possibility Ryan that that is where Tom Brady is headed. I'll tell you where we're headed. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. Moon off in the chat saying he's just here, so I won't get fined. And hey, you know what you get fined by the organization? That's why you're gonna go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. They are the coal that keeps the train alive content wise. Proud sponsor of our network, and uh, we really appreciate the support. And they help us. And why don't you help them out? You know, and help yourself out. I mean, bet a hundred dollars, get a hundred dollar risk free bet. You owe it to yourself to get an amazing price. And hey, baseball, they they really have some of the best lines in baseball. If you're grinding out MLB every day, you got to be doing over on WinBet. And of course, the WinBet Casino open 24 hours a day, 100% deposit bonus. And just released the first quarterback with five touchdowns in a game. Those prop bets are available. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET.com so they know we sent you. Offer subjects to change. Terms and conditions at winbet.com must be 21 or older and present in the state where playthrough winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gaming problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Ryan, we're also uh, brought to you by Run Your Pool. Shout out to Run Your Pool. We are running a NFL Survivor contest. Uh, if you're listening to the Sports Gambling Podcast, you know. Uh, how to play an NFL survivor contest and highly recommend running your pool on run your pool. Great for pick em, survivor fantasy pools, whatever, uh, whatever sort of pick em pool you are running highly, highly recommend run your pool. They very customizable. I've run a ton of pools over on run your pool. And again, they're running our free NFL survivor contest. We're giving away $500 cash and a $250 gift card to the SGPN store. All you gotta do is go to play.runyourpool.com slash S G P N. That is play.runyourpool.com slash S G P N. Get in our NFL Survivor Contest. And then once you're signed up with Run Your Pool, use that to run your pool pools for the year. And again, if you are listening to the show, you probably are the person uh running all the pools. All right, Kramer, let's get to it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to add about this mystery absence. Do you do you think it really has any sort of impact? I mean, Brady is a, a of all the guys, he is certainly plug and play when it comes to like not needing to get work in the preseason. He is actually the last active player to predate the founding of Football Outsiders in 2003, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's older than than uh than Football Outsiders, which which is insane. And well, he's older than us, and I felt pretty sore after just hitting a little little field work up in Canton. So yeah, I, I mean, my quads God are still bless them. Yeah, I, I've I've switched over to my hot uh, yoga regimen, but uh, yeah, I, I, my quads were barking after just uh. running a couple forty times. Of course, that's what happens, you know, when you're when you're a speed machine like myself. Uh, yeah, you get a little sore, might blow out a hammy. But yeah, Brady live and well kept it. Yeah, I mean, and, and I, I all right. So here's the argument: it's Tom Brady. So yeah. what what does Tom Brady generally get going into an NFL season? An easy schedule. Last year, second easiest. This year, projected to be the sixth easiest. Yeah, how do they have the sixth easiest according to win total? Because their division sucks. Is that is that it? But then like, it's a combination. But right? they they it's were their first division place. and they catch the. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I I think a lot. It, it has a lot to do with how low the win totals are for the Falcons and the Panthers. I, I think as far as the division, it's one of the lowest. Like if you take the Bucks out of it, you have a win total of eight, six, and five. That's that's a pretty impressively low collection of division foes. So I think it's probably artificially low because I I think we know well, that they, these they, division they they struggle to beat the Saints and. They've um I did they split with one of the Panther did the did they they didn't lose to the Falcons or the Panthers last year, but they lost both to the Saints. They lost to the the football team. Rest in peace, the football team. Yeah, I mean they they kind of have 
they're they're a better team than the Titans, but they have a similar Titans vibe where they play up to their competition. Every once in a while, they'll get snaked. Yeah, they were thirteen and four, and that included two losses to the Saints. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think you know they. Pr- you could probably argue they they should have lost week one. Um, they definitely played some close games, six and zero in one score games last year, Sean. So I mean, you, they your Eagles. You remember that game? Yeah, but uh, I mean that game. Well, that's the regular. Actually, the, sorry, the regular season game. We don't want to talk about the postseason. No, game. no, but that game is probably a good example where the Eagles really were never in that game and ended up being a one score game late. And I think the Eagles uh, covered the number because they randomly went for two in there. But um, yeah, the Bucks were always going to win that game. So. You know the one score games are good when it's actually like indicative of a close game that could have gone either way. I don't Bills. think. Yeah, the Bills definitely could have gone either way. I I don't think that Eagles game could have gone either way for them. Now, what about? Uh, well, I think because they're they're all and, and and you know cut to the future now or the present, but you know they they lose Sue, bring in Hicks, and probably profile to have a similarly badass fucking defense where they're really going to be a problem for you. Yeah. If you need to run the ball, uh, uh, unless you're the Saints for some reason, <laughs> the Saints just—I mean, how do you not just copy the Saints' game plan? Clearly, it's like a, a get-up so, spot for the Saints or whatever. It's how Dennis Dellen, Dennis Allen is a head coach in the NFL, NFL because he can dominate the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, period. and that's why they're—that's why they're going to be interesting this season. But um, you know, Todd Bowles taking over uh, for head coach after Arians retired, aka clearly he got He's forced still in the out. building. But he, yeah. but you don't get forced out and get to stay in the building, right? Oh, you do if if Tom Brady's your quarterback. And I think the conversation went like this: uh, <laughs> ownership likes Tom, uh, likes yeah. Bruce Arians. Tom Brady does not, so they compromise. Hey, Bruce Arians, hang out in the building. When Tom it leaves, you get your job back or and, something. And I'm, and I'm wearing this shirt, standing with my man Bruce Arians, standing with a great hokey. Tom Brady, you want to come out of war Turkey? <laughs> You're going to get the whole fucking leg, bitch. No, look, I, I think it's odd to me. The whole situation's interesting because I don't quite buy your angle or your version of it just because he's still in the building. Uh, I, I do like, I, it, so what the, do you think? He just, if there's a problem, you get rid of it. You don't allow it to maintain access. No, but no, I, I he's in the building, but he's not doing any of the, I, he doesn't have, he's not hands on. He's not scheming up the play. No, no, no. But, but to your point, yeah, if it's purely a coaching thing, sure. But I, I do think if it was like, there was bad blood there, I don't think they would have left them to, to run around the building. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, all right. Here's whatever it is. I, maybe it's not bad blood, but he didn't want Bruce Arians to be his coach. Um, and, and you know, all the tampering stuff, he wants to work with a guy like Sean Payton. So Bruce Arians, they kind of put on the mm. sideline in the office. So you're saying Todd Bowles is just a bridge coach to get to Sean Payton. It might be, or <laughs> that would be, uh, or really, uh, they just said, Tom, you can coach the offense. I think that's the agreement there. Well, I mean, Byron Leftwich, we're, we're going to just say he's not, he's not a coach. Well, I mean, what does Byron Leftwich tell Tom Brady about offense or quarterbacking? I, I mean, they're the same age. Right, that's what I'm saying. If you're Tom yeah, Brady, are you listening to Byron Leftwich? Look, if if Tom Brady is a fan of these dudes, he can you know set up Todd Bowles nicely and probably get Byron Leftwich a, a job with one more season. Uh, I still think Bruce Arians is in the building, so I I wonder how much of this. I mean, I think this. I think more of this came from Arians. I I do. I I I'm I'm still a believer that he was somewhat complicit in this. And this was his his plan to step away. I don't know. I I know no, I, I that doesn't make any from everything I know about Bruce Arians. The dude loves coaching. He stepped away before. Yeah, medically. I mean, it, it could, we don't know. There could be a medical uh, yeah. thing. He's an old dude. He's lived a hard life. Look at his face. I mean, what's the focus so, on his so, drinking? I will say, if you want to have, I some think fun, there was some any, sort of disagreement or or maybe you know the the rumors about bowl or uh, you know. Um, Anytime, if you have a chance, go look up any Zoom call uh, interview that Bruce Arians had during COVID. Bruce, Bruce Arians likes to drink a ton, and I Beautiful. can see, and he's always out on the golf course. I could see Brady being like, "This guy isn't really as committed as he should be." Arians is like, "What? Well, well, you know, I don't want to be. I, I want some involvement." So they gave him a desk job in in the building. H- however, you, yeah. So however you you strike it, the. It, it, is is there continuity from one year to the next? Probably still, because everything else is the same, right? Is that your angle? Do you think it matters the coaching change? 
Um, I don't know. I because we've spent a lot, a lot of time talking about it. Bruce Arians, do you, we we think he's a good coach. We've yes. always been a Bruce, pro but Bruce I don't, Arians. I don't know if I don't know if Brady, like I think I think Bruce Arians can get the best out of some situations, some quarterbacks. But I don't think he was really raising Tom Brady's game. I think Tom Brady can coach himself, and I think he's going to be fine in this offense. And that's that's really like trying to pick holes in this team is tough. You look at the roster. The defense roster, should be good. The defense should be good. You're, you're. I mean, you're taking Todd Bowles from defensive coordinator to head coach, so maybe the defense even gets a little bit better. Um, Todd Bowles defenses have haven't finished worse than tenth in stuff rate since he first became a coordinator in 2012. So you know they're gonna they're gonna shut down the run. Um, you know they're bringing in Logan Hall, second round pick, uh, defensive end. Seems like we, a great like fit him. by all accounts in Todd Bowles' system. Even their even their secondary looks like fairly deep, fairly strong. Um, you know they had a lot of injuries last year, and then Dean came in to fill in for Davis and uh, Sean Murphy Bunting, who were both out. And he allowed just uh, what was it, forty six point one completion rate and five point five yards per target. Uh, and, and so like they even seemed to figure it out when all their cornerbacks were were down, which I think long term kind of strengthens your unit. Like these. These guys that are backups on their team. That's a great job. The, the, the guys that are backups on the team. They strengthen your unit. Yeah, their unit is super strong right now. They're uh, they're multiple. Uh, it's. I think you can. I, I think if you're gonna attack uh, this team anywhere, it's not the defense. Yeah. I think they. I think that you can argue the defense maybe got better. Uh, between the draft, uh, bringing in a, a, a heady player like Logan Ryan, former Giant, and, you know, definitely not a guy. He, he definitely w- had has lost a step on the field, but again, one of those veteran presence type players that Tom Brady seems to always have on his teams on the other side of the ball. Also, a guy who played in New England with Tom Brady before, and Keanu Neal still still got the gas in the tank. So. And I think they, I, I kind of like their draft. I mean, besides Logan Hall, uh, Rashad White, uh, running back we from like Arizona him. State, he's interesting. Kate Otten uh, could be interesting as well. Uh, uh, drafting a punter is pretty stupid, but yeah. Other than that, I mean, you know, they got second I round mean, pick as well. Dude takes tackle. a kicker in the the eighth round of your fantasy draft. You're laughing at him. <laughs> you got to call it out. But the, the key departures, you look at it, it's like Alex Kappa, Jordan Whitehead, OJ Howard, Gronk. Who may come back slash probably will come back, Ronald Jones. But then they bring in Kyle Rudolph, Akeem Hicks, nope. uh, Russell Gage, Julio Jones. Again, uh, you know what is what does Julio have left in the tank? It, it kind of interesting, like best ball play certainly fantasy wise. Russell Gage, I think, will give Brady that consistency. I don't know if Russell Gage has ever played lacrosse, but he seems to be maybe he's in role for that Edelman type workload. I it's really tough and their offensive line PFF offensive line has them ranked fourth right now. And you know, end of the season, top three receivers by fantasy points on this team are, Ooh, well, Mike Evans all season long. Number one, Mike Dog. Evans. And then it gets really interesting. Cause Godwin seems like he's going to be on coming the off an injury. Serious one. Yeah. And then when does he come back? I mean, I would go. I guess I would go Evans. Evans is dealing with a hamstring yeah. as we're talking. But I feel like he always has that. Um I'll go Evans, Julio, Russell Gage. I uh, Julio, so this is where it got interesting for me. And the last, real quick before I move off the defense. JPP is the one guy who I think like that that if they did have they replaced him, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. He was kind of a part. But when when I started looking at the offense. That this is where I got, you know, A, I started asking more questions of myself. Like, hey man, Julio didn't really do shit last year. Why are we expecting? Because I watched him goddamn preseason tape in the summer of Florida where a guy's sweating, looking like an athlete. Why am I getting excited about Julio Jones? He, he could be Tom washed Brady. up. Antonio Brown legit was really good when he was on this team. Gronk is it's it's un uh, you can't state how much losing Gronk matters to this team. And really it's the offensive line. It was already a problem losing the guard. Then they, they lose the center to injury. Yeah. The at center s- injury is <laughs> at some point Brian Jensen. And so, yeah, that, that fourth in PFF O line ranking was before the 
uh, Jensen injury. And then he uh, had an elite offensive line yeah. last year. I would say this though. Um, it's not going to be elite this year. Yeah. But I would say this, like what say it Brady makes the offensive line better because he can get the ball out so quickly. It's going to be a lot of dink and dunk offense. It's going to be a lot of catch and run with Russell Gage underneath with Mike Evans uh, underneath. And I, I think the offense is still going to click. I'm so, yeah. Losing guys on the interior offensive line. That's how you historically beat Tom Brady, but they're going to figure it out. Do you remember when Tom Brady went from almost going undefeated before losing to the New York football Giants? shout out to Eli Manning in 2007, 2008, beginning of the 2008 season. What happens? Steps into that throw. Bang! Matt Castle for the rest of the season. Interior offensive line's a problem. Interior offensive line is <laughs> a problem. Gonna, are you gonna have another under ride? At some point you oh, have I'm so, to. I'm really out at of. At some my, point you have to take it over, right? I mean, unless you uh, is this one of those things where you just take every NFL under and then assume you're gonna get at least you know half. Well, of it? Sean, um, I don't know if you knew this, but there's actually more uh, wins in the win totals if you add them up than there are wins possible in the NFL season. So one of us is a sharp, one of us is not. Uh, look, I, I'm just saying there's questions. There's a lot of questions. Like I, I think if you asked me this, who's going to finish higher in DBOA, the offense or the defense, I would bet on the defense. Well, and, and I would say this, I, I think the defense could take a step up and the offense doesn't need to do as much. I mean, you look at last year, 29.9 uh, points per game uh, for uh, allowing 20.9 points per game. I think it could be, I think this defense could be sub 20 points per game. And even if the offense knocks down to like 27, there's still a team that's going to win double digits. There's still a team that's going to be a playoff team. The win total over on win bet, which we're going to break down, is 11 and a half. The, the case for the over mm. is, is tough. It's yeah. plus 110 on the over, minus 120. I, I think they get close getting into over. Might be a little tough though. Uh, what did what did we predict the Bucks to go can, last year? Can I ask a quick question? Because I was, I was, I, I'm filtering out the rest of my notes here. All out. And I do have a note on Todd Bowles. You mentioned Todd Bowles always had a top ten defense. Uh, in as stuff a, rate. Oh, okay, stuff rate. Got it. Because one of my notes is I went and looked at his Jets tenure as a head coach. Yeah. First year, 2015. Woo! Second in the division, ten and six. Rolled out the uh, ninth ranked rank, uh, rank defense by points, fourth by yards. Things were hopping. Year two, 28th points, 11th in yards. Year three, 22, 22nd in points, 25th in yards. Year four, 29th in points, 25th in yards. Could we be dealing with a no, the classic case of an expert as a coordinator goes to head coach and suddenly the unit that he was hired for becomes the weaker of the two units. I don't, I don't know if I buy it with bowls, but like that, that stood out to me as surprising. Now those teams were dog shit in general. Yeah. I'm but. looking, I'm just looking up some of uh, he has Greg Williams running the defense, which is that guy's a bit of a maniac, but I think with Todd Bowles at the helm, they just have so much talent on the defensive <laughs> side. I don't think even Greg Williams can fuck that up. Uh, Moon off in the chat. Make sure to check out uh, his his show Propcast. Going to be hitting on and the NFL Gambling Podcast, newly launched. If you guys want more NFL content, right? He's making a case for Julio over 550 and a half receiving yards. Pointing out he had 771 in 2020 in 11 games, got 434 with Tannehill in 10 games. There's a world. I his, I think he's more for me. He's more interesting as a best ball play. <laughs> Cause I think he could have a couple like massive games where his legs are right. The matchup is right. And everything comes together. I'm probably not looking to do, I would rather take his touchdown prop. I don't know what it is, but I think that to me would be more interesting than yards. Cause yards you're, you're relying somewhat and move off making a good case there, but move yards. You're relying on like consistency game started. I would rather just play the upside case like in best that's ball a, or touchdowns. That's a low number though. Think about it. Last year, his total was nine ninety nine and, and a half. So yeah. that's you're getting a, a 50% discount where, and he's going to a team that well, in the theory, target share is, is crazy. Though. Forget the target share though. How many more okay. pass attempts are the bucks going to have over the Titans? 
So just from a vo- his target share could go way down, and he could still have way more volume. So I, I don't mind that bet. I, I I don't know if I love the idea of betting an over on Julio though. I mean, we'll see if he even makes the season. I was gonna make a joke. If there's one buck this year that's gonna take his headset off and and do a lap around the stadium, it could be a Greg Williams show this year. He he's probably the craziest motherfucker in the locker room now that Antonio Brown's gone. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. What's next? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Any, um, yeah, he uh, speaking of Brady, his ability to get the ball out quickly. Bucks led the league in adjusted sack rate, despite uh, on the offensive side, despite finishing 19th in pass block win rate. So essentially, that means again, he doesn't get sacked a ton because he doesn't let himself get sacked. He gets rid of the ball quickly. Yeah, and I, and I, it's an interesting start to the season. For a team where, for a team that has a question around the um, interior of of, a, of an offense, for for a team that just honestly it just has offensive line questions and an old ass quarterback who yes it is Tom Brady the start to the schedule is interesting. I mean, the schedule is quote, I could see easy, them. but when we go through it, you're gonna be like, well, wait a second here. No, I could see them definitely starting slow and then ending up closing it out uh, pretty strong. When Gronk comes back, right? Yeah, when he blows that whistle and then Gronk comes running through. I mean, it would really be <laughs> like awesome. wrestling style or Kool Aid Man style, actually <laughs> busting through a wall, wearing those fucking wraparound <laughs> glasses. Oh, Gronk would love that. All right, let's get to the schedule before we do that. Oddstrader.com. That's right. Oddstrader.com slash blue wire. Head over there and get started today. It is your one stop shop to compare odds, find the best sign up codes, promos, whatever you need, plus injury stats, uh, game stats, weather reports, and a bet tracking app. Imagine if you had all that in one place. Highly, highly recommend going to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. Totally free to get started. Ryan forgot his football outsiders Bible. He had to come <laughs> right away and go grab it. Uh, handicap and data, play by play updates, live score bet tracking. Again, do us a solid, do yourself a solid. Go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. Odds trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. And we're also brought to you by Sleeper, the fastest growing fantasy platform. Millions of players. Ryan and I were just discussing our dynasty league. Have some holes to fill at the QB position. Other than that, though, our team looks pretty good. Uh, that league's over on Sleeper, and really looking forward to this feature in the NFL season. You'll have your your Sleeper fantasy team there, and you can just click over under and get down on real action there as part of their over under game. Uh, all you got to do to get started is open up your phone, uh, type sleeper.com/sgp. Uh, sleeper.com slash SGP. They'll automatically match your first deposit up to $100. If you already have sleeper, just click the over under tab and then use promo code SGP to get that hundred percent deposit match. You can win two X all the way up to 20 X perfect for uh and MLB too. Those are really fun uh, ways to bet the MLB. I'm, I'm putting together a nice little bankroll and you can copy my picks in the uh, sleeper uh, sleeper chat there, the group chat. So uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some NFL ones as well. So stay tuned for that. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. Couple notes on on Sleeper. One, Tyler, a shout out to Tyler, and informed us that we have a one percent chance to win the Dynasty League this year. We are in a rebuild. All right. We're in a rebuild. <laughs> Wait, is that an actual mathematical formula or was that I'm just I'm sure it's just one of those fantasy platforms like plug in the the, the players. They don't realize, Sean, that we have two first rounders already next year. So, jokes on them. Uh, second thing, oh boy, sleeper. The sleeper platform is going to be a heavy in heavy rotation with the props. Oh yeah, I mean, and God help them if they include first touchdowns. If they want to <laughs> be real, if they want to, I think it's mostly player pro, uh, over unders. But I no, I know. I'm just I'm, no. Maybe they will include it. I'll I'll bo- ask boost the sleeper th- boost your uh, three teamer <laughs> from six to one to twenty to one by adding this first <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> All right, schedule time. You ready? Let's do it. Did we miss anything? We got everything out, right? We talked about Tom Brady and his mysterious absence. Yep. What else? Uh, I mean, that was the major note because I, again, I'm still talked high about the, on the Todd uh, Bowles and the and the new coach. Yep. Talked about the new players. I don't know. I think we got it. All right. And like I said, 
the, the schedule is, is supposed to be easy, but it does start interestingly uh, difficult. Week one at Dallas on Sunday night football. Again, a little rematch of last year's Thursday night football at New Orleans. I, I know it's a new coach and all that jazz, which by the way, with both the saints and the bucks having a new coach this year, Arthur Smith in his second year, Matt rule in his third year, which one of these coaches is, has the longest tenure in two years? Are any of these coaches still coaching in two years? I mean, Matt rules <laughs> on, on thin ice. He's the most tenured guy, Sean. Yeah, that's, He's, that's weird. <laughs> uh, at new Orleans, which that's not a game. They, they tend to win green Bay at home and Kansas city at home on Sunday night. See there. Well, first off they're they're missing a sweet spot. Those early September home games yeah. for the bucks back always love back. that as back. well. Brady gets back to back road games. Yeah. Week one and two. That's going to be tough. I mean, I think they're, they're going to beat the Cowboys. Cause as we know, the Cowboys suck, but then I can see the Cowboys getting an early one. Oh, well you're, you're kind of a Cowboys Homer. I know. Um, Keep keep McCarthy happy in that. I side. I think I'm gonna go two and two here, but you could you could go lower and and still be reasonable because I think the Chiefs a tough matchup. A, I, I don't a, know they, oh. the Chiefs and Packers are interesting because I I do think the Bucks kind of let me match you. up decently for them. The Col the the Chiefs are at they go chart <laughs> the Chiefs are also in a crazy stretch. They start the season at Arizona. Chargers at home Thursday night, then at Colts at Bucks. So this is, and then with the Raiders on deck, it's this, a back-to-back road. It's game. a, it's a. Red, so I think two and two is right. It's a tougher spot uh, for them, as far as the the Packers. Um, you know, I, I think it's hard to find the situational stuff other than like, do the Packers need to run the ball? Are the Packers the team that needs to run the ball? I I think any time a really good quarterback faces this team, I'll I'll say t- you said two and two. Yeah. They they could would you be surprised if they started 0 and 4? Yeah. That would be surprising with this schedule. Yes. When has Tom Brady ever started 0 and 4? I just want, you know, I want that conversation. Is Tom Brady <laughs> is Tom Brady? No, there's plenty of times where they've started out a little slow and then two and two, right? That's it. Yeah. And that's that's really slow ne- by their standards. Next for Falcons at Steelers at Panthers. Ravens at home on Thursday night football. Again, <laughs> uh, real back quick, to back road games, real quick, just for historical reference, Ryan, how many times in Tom Brady's career has he won less than double digits? Not counting the year that he sat out. Cause he hurt his knee. Yes. Uh, uh, one, one, 2002 mm. new England Patriots every other year. He's won 10 or more. Uh, and and two That's years. Why the win total and is only, eleven and a half. And only and only twice was it ten wins. Every other time it's eleven wins. That's why these sports books are smart. Just set it at eleven wins, make you really think about it, make you earn it. But two and two, that that could be the real conversation. Hey, the interior offensive line isn't what it used to be. The injuries are getting to Brady. That, he he didn't he took time off for personal reasons. This, this could, is September is gonna eat this up. This could be the last time you get to beat Tom Brady. If you're Patrick Mahomes, if mm. you're, you know what? One in three, <clears throat> excuse me. One in three. I'm, I, I swayed myself on that. Even though I told you that chief spot was bad for the chiefs. <laughs> uh, I, I swayed myself. All right. So the next stretch is Falcons at Steelers at Panthers, Ravens, Thursday night football. Again, Two back-to-back road spots in the first eight games of the season for the Bucks. That that feels so. Falcons at nice. home. That's, that's a, win. a win. Panthers at home. No, no. Or, at or at, at Pan- Steelers. At Steelers is tough, um, especially the Steelers' defensive line. Their front seven. I, I mean, would I be Both shocked? Defenses. I I wouldn't be shocked if they they lose that. I, what I, Falcons and Panthers? Those are pretty pretty good wins. And then I think they split between at Steelers and Ravens at home. They win one of those AFC North matchups. So I'll kick it to three and one, five and three for the you, Bucks. You don't think Baker can feel a little dangerous? Do something? I don't. I I, I tend to agree with you. Uh, hmm. See, they should be like they're they're probably a good bad matchup for the Ravens too with that defense. But yeah, three and one. Yep. Five and three going into the break. 
I think that sounds about right. All right now they're five hundred for me. <laughs> Just so never so. met an under he didn't like. <laughs> Ram- I mean, I understand it for player props, Ryan, but win totals mathematically, some of these teams have to win games. Do they? Rams at home. Are you just gonna have like the Rams going eighteen and zero, seventeen? I, again, I I'm gonna. Well, You're gonna have like multiple teams going seventeen and zero. To we make will be work. we will be done with all the teams this we week. We should ask Tyler. At which point I will put it. I will put it you all. You gotta put it into the grid. No, it's it's gonna be all put into a a list where we can see everything that we all the records, and then we'll see where the we'll see where the math lies. I'm a math guy, so maybe I'll adjust. That's see, what the, now, now that's what the division preview. Trevor before. is falling into the trap that I think a lot of people are in the YouTube chat, where he says, "I don't know why I think this is uh, the the Brady regression." It year. is. I've been saying <laughs> that for the past three years, but it feels like a year he gets hurt or doesn't do well. Sex. I I've, I've I've actually made the bold injury <laughs> prediction statement, like I did with Christian McCaffrey uh, last year. I was not correct. I'm not going to be. Fa- I'm not going to fade Brady he's until we see it for at least half a season or a quarter of a season. He's never taken half of training camp off. In fairness, yeah. <laughs> in fairness, Rams at home, Seahawks overseas in Germany. So let's. We we're going to need to pause the schedule for a second. It's going to get a refill. There's a buy after this. <laughs> Is Brady coming back with the team? No, he's on. He takes his own plan. But no, no. Is he coming back after the game, or is what do he you sticking mean? around Retiring? in Germany for a little bit? <laughs> no, like for a procedure. Yeah, no. That's what I'm saying. He's taking his own plane. <laughs> All right. So, well, I mean, last time a dude stayed back away from the team it didn't work out so well for Urban Meyer. Keep an eye on that. Rams at home. Seahawks over. So they lost a home game. Worth noting. They only have uh, eight home games. Rest of the NFC nine. Yeah, but they get to play the Seahawks, so that's kind of <laughs> kind of evens out. Uh, I don't know about that one. Brian, what's Brady, the look ahead line right now? 12, it, 14 points? Yeah, but Brady's looking ahead to that surgery. <laughs> he might be thinking about it. He's looking ahead to have his blood spun by, by some German by doctors. Week, and then we got at Cleveland and we got Saints on Monday Night Football. Three and one. Very easy. Because it could it, they could lose to the Saints again or the Rams. Yeah. Other than that, they got they got the Browns and Seahawks figured out. Right? Three and one. They don't beat the Saints. They lost nine nothing one time to the Saints. When I think I know Saints I was on the Saints. So you, I. But I'm also saying that I I don't think there's I think the Ram. I mean, th- do you remember the Rams game last year? Yeah, I like the Rams in this spot in Tampa Bay. I, I mean, think, I Matt Stafford needs to get on the TB12 method if he's going to be making it to November. You're I think you're underestimating the Bucks defense, Ryan. I think that's part Aaron of the Donald versus that. Interior offensive line for Brady. That yeah, could they'll, be the, they'll that slide protection. Actually, he'll throw the ball on. in like two seconds. This could be the game. Ooh. All right. This is what's gonna happen. Brady's gonna take a gnarly hit from Sue or from uh, from Donald because the line is messed up. Brady, it's gonna look really bad, but somehow Brady's gonna still be questionable next week, so we can still travel with the team to Germany. All of a sudden, he's gonna get. So we're gonna hear about Brady is gonna go over to Germany earlier. And the rest of the team, he's going to get fixed up somehow, and he's going to somehow play against the Seahawks. But I'm going to say two and two, two and two, and there's some sort of shady, uh, ultra fast recovery that happens around the Germany trip <laughs> after Aaron Donald <laughs> destroys that interior offensive line. I love how you're projecting that he's going to get his blood spun and have this awesome performance enhancing recovery. Yeah, but then he's also going to still lose the I, game. I'm a little worried about that Ravens Rams <laughs> uh, stretch there. All right, two and two, uh, they don't beat the same. Three and one at. Oh, you're really bullish on this team at San Francisco Bengals at home at Cardinals on Sunday night football Panthers at home. Oof. I, this I'm tempted to go four and oh here. Really? Yeah. You like this matchup? Yeah. I mean, the well, 49ers, Brady's, but, 49ers Brady always gets up for that game. Although I do think Shanahan and again, that defense, they may be able to Pressure them. They have a good interior. I do like I do like the Bucks defense against the Bengals. I mean the Bengals are dogs. Don't know all love for Joe Burrow, but in in t- that's non conference road spot yeah. for the Bengals. Cardinals. I mean, Trash. is Kyler going to win no. a game on Christmas? No. One, I, three and one. Three and one. You're right. Maybe they lose the 49ers. You I mean, talk- that's not an easy place. In December to go. I think that. But the also Trey Lance. We forget Ryan. Trey Lance. Oh, MVP Trey Lance. <laughs> 
It'll be. <laughs> they need to run the ball. quarterback. What did I say? Teams that need to run the ball are going to struggle against. Yeah, the you're Bucks. right. Maybe we should go four and zero. But uh, Bengals could be frisky. I'll go three and one. Four and zero because you can't project injury, right? Final game of the season at Falcons. Uh, they need it to win it. Let me just make. I can double check who I had the Falcons winning. Oh, I got it. We both had the Falcons winning, Sean. Really? Yeah. Because they, yeah, because they probably be resting their starters. Although I don't know, it's it's weird now, with that one spot being the only one that gets the buy. You know. I mean, I just think the Falcons are going to be playing for something. Uh, so like the first pick overall. Oh, Sean. I, Ryan, you, I, I'm gonna make so much fucking money on the Falcons <laughs> to win the division and the god no, just the stick Texans to the Texans. To the Your Texans take is All right, is so legit. Your what, Falcons isn't. I would would you? I was pretty negative about this team, right? Yeah, I mean, you, that's a fair fair take. I'll gr- I'll grade I'm this ten, a win I'm, for them. I'm wait, so you're gonna give both teams a win? All right, okay. I'll go. I'll go loss. <laughs> ten and seven for me. And what do I have them? Eleven and six. You have them eleven and six. Yeah, you really and you were I I I feel like you were on it you were optimistic. You leaned optimistic. No. No. I mean, I I think I was a little bit pessimistic. There's really? definitely there's definitely some games they could get up to 12 here. See, I I feel like you gave out their near like their ceiling is 12. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. 11 and 6. I, I as a as someone who likes the listeners and my and the Kramer gang I cannot advise them to take this over, Sean. No, I I think eleven and a half is is just high, and you know Trevor pointing out in the YouTube chat, Bowles is twenty six and forty one as a head coach. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> certainly. I, I mentioned that earlier. Like he, I think the Brady trend is a little <laughs> stronger, but he took a Jets team. Yeah, he was good in the first year, and then the next three years he was not good. That, at some, I mean, I get this is the first year, so maybe it doesn't matter. But I, I I will say, looking at our oh, our holistic projections for this division, even with my relatively down take on this team, I still have them winning the division by two games. So yeah, well, you don't, do you have a division winner? Uh, so the Bucks are probably your first division winner that has double digit wins, Ron. Right? Uh, I mean, stay tuned for the divisional <laughs> previews. That may not be true. All right, uh, we'll talk a little futures, maybe a little fantasy stuff before we do that. You know what my fantasy is? Having amazing coffee delivered to my door, and luckily the fantasy comes true thanks to Trade Coffee. Uh, first off, it's really fun to take the coffee quiz. Trade Coffee dot or sorry, drinktrade dot com slash sgp. Go there, get started with the coffee quiz. They get it dialed in exactly to your palate. They give you some options. Hey, I like this. This sounds good. Uh, I'm a big whole bean guy. Love it. And again, you got, you got the algorithm figuring out your coffee coming, coming right to your house or delivered to your work. Whatever's easier for you. They have over 450 rows. So they, if you like coffee and why don't you know these people who don't like coffee is insane. They're, they're outliers, Ryan trade has delivered over 5 million bags of fresh coffee with more than 750,000 positive reviews. That's right. All you got to do to get started today Go to drinktrade.com slash SGP. A total of $30 off your first order plus free shipping. Are you kidding me? More than 40 cups of coffee for free. Get started today by taking the quiz at drinktrade.com slash SGP. Let trade find you a coffee you'll love. Drinktrade.com slash SGP for $30 off. We're also brought to you by Dave. Dave is your buddy. Why is he buddy? Because, hey, you're running a little low on funds. Maybe you, um, you know, Bet a ton of money on the Atlanta Falcons for some reason. You're really high on them. And you look back, you go, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Hindsight's 2020. You don't you don't ask your buddies, your parents for money. Uh, that's where Dave comes in. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. More money to fill your tank, get that wedding gift, uh, whatever it is that's stressing you out, Dave can help. No interest and no credit check needed. A millions have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So download the Dave app from the app store right now. That's D A V E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to five hundred dollars. That's right, five hundred dollars. For terms and conditions, go to Dave.com/legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve Member FDIC. 
All right, Ryan, let's talk a little, uh, little futures. Well, real quick, shout out to the YouTube chat. Yeah. Uh, Cousin Mush is looking for a, a way to get down on the little league world world series. <laughs> I saw some, uh, some discord activity on that. So I uh, just pointing out how the, the, the if you're a degenerate, you might want to check out our discord or hang out in the YouTube either way. All right, let's talk bets. Let's do it. So we're both on the under. Yes. Uh, slight, slight on the under, but I, you I, almost I, said lean there. I almost heard it come out slight on the under. Uh, I mean, are we doing 11 anything? and a half is strong. Yeah. So 11 and a half over plus plus one ten, under minus minus one twenty, division minus three twenty, NFC plus three twenty five super bowl plus 700 make minus 600 miss plus four twenty. interesting price there. Do you how how do you fade like if if you want to fade this team how do you fade them do you just take the under do you bet on the Saints to win the division do you yeah I would just go under I mean right you could probably go you could probably get if you're looking like you to really fade them I'm not what, what do you mean look through? I I got them I got them at ten wins. Yeah, so you're one and a half games under. That's not massively fading. I'm okay. not even looking to the alt numbers. <laughs> you're trying to create this false narrative here. Uh, you what predicted about, one more win than me, Brian. What about uh, first quarterback with five passing touchdowns in a game? Tom Brady's right up there at plus five hundred against the Dallas Cowboys. Hmm. Yeah, what Wait, are, is it? But he, it's we could Sunday. probably do a well, whole episode breaking these pro, breaking this prop down it's individually. The, it's the yeah. Let's oh, we just figured out. We were talking about fit, finding way to to. To make yeah. another episode this week, I think we just figured it out. Jameis Winston's ten to one. Joe Burrow's ten <laughs> right, to one. There's it. some this interesting. Is a, this, ones. this is a separate episode. Relax. <laughs> uh, Brady M- MVP. Uh, that's nine to one over on win. That's not interesting for me. There's no, not he's much not a, winning the MVP. I mean, he could play great, but there's just not much of a narrative for it. Um, it's old ass dude. Like, and and he's even regular season passing leader. He's eight to one, which is. Probably an okay price. I just I can't wait to see the movie where he's played by Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Old ass Burt Reynolds. Uh I, I don't even know how to play this. I, I don't I really don't know how to play. maybe maybe do, do we look at the are we looking to like bet them to to make it far and lose like, it in the NFC? Would you take like would you look at them to win the NFC at plus three twenty five? No, it's minus three twenty five. No, the NFC. No, oh, not the, the division. NFC. I mean, we bet. All right, so we both. Uh, we I predicted twelve and five last year. Yeah, you predicted thirteen and four. So once again, one win different. Uh, I I, I uh, we both gave out the division at minus two hundred. So re- revisiting that conversation at minus three twenty. I'm not interested. What did we give it out last year? Minus two hundred. Yeah, two minus two hundred was a better price. Obviously, a better price there. Uh, minus three twenty. I'm trying to think no. who outboxes them. Maybe the Saints. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I don't like taking a division at at that high of an odds. But, I mean, I'm looking at Brady's uh, and win bet uh, has these up. Uh, Tom Brady season pass yards and Tom Brady season passing touchdowns. Ryan, I know you don't have it up, so guess what his passing yards are. I, I mean, he. What did he have last year? Like five thousand or near it? Fifty three sixteen. Yeah. I'm sure it's set at like forty eight hundred. Forty five fifty. Really? Okay. I even went way too high. Yeah, and, and I was gonna I was gonna say forty six hundred. Well, and passing touchdowns, he had forty three last year, forty the year before. What do you think it's set at now? He had four what well, would read me the forty three last year, forty the year before. Thirty eight and a half. Thirty five and a half. Mm. These are actually pretty low. I'm still not betting it, especially now that he's absent. I don't like this absence. The more I'm that a, I think about it, the more that I wonder if he's questioning his his commitment to football. Well, if he doesn't play, um, I'm sure it'll be great as no contest. So I'll give out uh, Tom Brady over fifty five fifty uh, passing yards. I I know uh, if Moondoff's still in the YouTube chat, I'd like right. to I'd like to get his take because I think both are. You know, I'm going to go both. Oh, over 35 and a half passing touchdowns and over on the uh, passing yards as well. Any of these, uh, any other futures you're interested in, Ryan? Do we think Logan Hall, maybe because of the system, the scheme, no. defensive player of the year, or d- sorry, defensive uh, rookie of the year? No. 
I, I, I don't, um, I mean, honestly, like I, I, they just don't, I don't think, I I don't know if I would make any bets there. Um, If I'm looking at the Rashad white offensive rookie of the year, he certainly can come in and do some stuff. I I still, I always just think about Brady and, and, you know, think about who, who did he, who has he thrown the ball to dudes? He trusts, right? I know Aaron Rodgers gets a lot of grief for his inability to play with younger players. Uh, Brady likes old guys too. Yeah. And so I, I don't know if a rookie's going to, well, that's jump why Russell right Gage is interesting. Give him a lot of easy, easy catches. I, I don't, I mean, I think the only way you play this is, 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 is it, the perfect case for this team. I, I still don't think they're going to be the same. I just can't imagine Todd Bowles run like passes at the same rate as Bruce Arians. Mm. I, like there, there's something to that. You're a defensive coach, right? You know what happened before. You have Tom Brady, yes, but I I don't know if the vol. Everyone is very much expecting the volume to not change, and I think that is one part that maybe we you could push back on a little bit and say that's just not going to happen. But all right, so what about this? How many? What what is his interception number at? Eleven and a half. Could Tom Brady get loose with the ball? What did he do last year? He did he go over his? Uh, yeah, he had twelve back to back years. I think he's just gone over back to back years. And we were pointing, and I think we actually gave that out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we gave it out because in the Bruce Arian system, a lot of risk. There is more risk baked in, even with a conservative guy like Tom Brady. I would actually take the under because, to your point, maybe they are running the ball slightly less more, a little less conservative. Yeah, so I, I think he gets back down to single digits. Todd Bowles, coach of the year, twenty five to one. What no part of that. No. I think that's I think that's one of the worst bets out there. Should he Mike Tomlin's thirty to one. That, that like that's I I could see the Brady argument. Brady is gonna if the team does well, Brady's gonna get any sort of credit. Like the, the Todd Bowles coach of the year would be like I, br- un, unless Brady gets injured and they still go like twelve and five. If he takes Kyle Trask to a division title, then yeah, I think he's in the mix for coach of the year. Other than that, hold on, I, Brady's going to get all the credit. I know we're here talking about the Bucks, but can you hit the uh, can you hit the breaking news? Uh, Lovey Smith, fifty to one, coach of the year. Love that, Lovey Smith, fifty to one. Coach <laughs> of the year. Let's go. If they win the division. That's even better. Thirty-five to one is less than fifty to one. If they win the division, Lovey Smith is the coach <laughs> of the fucking year. I might have to bet that, Sean. All right, uh, we we've done enough, I think. Yeah, we've said it all. Hey, getting the uh, Wait, what did we even give? I, I I don't feel like I gave out anything out of the. No, other you're than the you're 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 playing scared over there. Well, what did you give out? I gave out Tom Brady over forty five fifty passing yards and Tom Brady over thirty five and a half passing touchdowns. I think the Tom Brady passing props are the only thing that are That's, interesting so far, future wise. Even though he's sitting out right now. Yeah. Ryan, how many times have we fallen for this? It oh no, this is it. it. Oh Brady, this is the end of Tom Brady. I mean, they have articles about end of Tom Brady. Like, don't you? Tom Brady put out a hype reel of just sports commentators' hot takes saying he's done. Now maybe this is a great move for the business, Ryan, where you're trying to get on record yeah. fading Tom Brady, get so that when he goes to market, when he goes and has an awesome year, we can have our SGP logo cut into his uh, hype reel of how awesome he is. How many wins does this team have if Tom Brady doesn't show up? That never comes back from this break. Could they be the fewest wins? Two hundred and fifty to one. No. If they if Tom Brady doesn't come back, I mean back, their defense is so good they could win. Okay, they could win six or seven I games with uh, Todd Bowles. If their def- if he doesn't come back, could they be the lowest scoring team? One hundred fifty to one. No, they have so many weapons. It's hard. Yeah. All right. I'm fishing. Yeah. I, there's no, nothing appreciate out. it. There's nothing out here. <laughs> just not buying any of it. I'm, not, I'm just not buying any of it. I even you know. They even have some of these fun, like uh, first. Uh, oh, no, I can't find them. Like, who, who are you? Who's the team you're gonna win first against? Nothing good. Yeah, There's nothing good out here. Well, they're. I mean, they're. They're just a good roster with Tom Brady. Um, I don't really want to be on them. I'd, I'd rather be against them, right? 
He's gonna. He's only gonna fall off the cliff once. I'd rather. I'd rather be <laughs> beyond the situation where he falls off the cliff. All right, Bucks. Here's one. Uh, Bucks first win is who? Let's say in an alternate universe, they get off to a very, very slow. Or wait, this is their first defeat. Oh, that's not fun. Never mind. Got him on. Un- I was in the wrong there. category. I'm not. It's all right, Ryan. They they only have the first wins for the bad teams. I wanted that for the Bucks, saying they're going to start zero and five. Okay, but I they don't have that. Cowards. Well, I'll take that personally for you. Whatever you can set. The yeah. Price. So let's just lock it in. Bucks under. And I guess I, I guess I should put a couple shekels on the Saints to win the division. Maybe that's my fate. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Ryan, at some point for these division previews, you may want to figure out. Find a couple of extra Fuck you. Here. I have two overs and two <laughs> unders in this division. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add on to my uh, Falcons division plus thirty five hundred and maybe I sprinkle the the Saints as well. I'm fading this this Bucks team. That's the thesis. Figure out fig, take the notes and go take the test yourself, all right? Plenty of ways to bet to fade the Bucks. <laughs> uh, and I think Sean's crazy for taking Brady over a player props. I okay. would advise strongly against that. Tom, I believe in you. TB twelve, SG twelve. Let's go. I get it. I I have a healthy lifestyle. You also hate tomatoes. I don't hate tomatoes in some forms. No, I like tomatoes. Uh what 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 do I don't like tomatoes? Oh, oh I don't just, get some tomatoes because my stomach. I'm just, I'm just trying to draw comparisons to you, you and okay. Tom Brady. You both well, don't like tomatoes. We you both don't probably run a six point oh seven forty. We're both faster than you. We oh, both wow. believe in our ability uh, for Brady to yeah. throw for passing touchdowns and yards this season. So yeah, we're both champions. I, I mean, next time we are on a football field, happy we both, to, happy to have any sort of. Distance. We both made at least two hundred thousand dollars week one of the NFL season in twenty seventeen. We can both be in. The, oh wow! All right, it's true. So there's a lot. There's a lot are of we similarities. Sure? Brady might have been taking a pay cut that year. Yeah, you know. Well, at least uh, what he declared. Are we talking bonus money or what? He probably declared at least two hundred k. All right. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Hey, uh, get in the uh, merch <laughs> merch Monday for hey, your you. chance to win. <laughs> We're giving away a fifty dollars gift card every Monday. All you got to do, uh, work up a nice little review on Apple Podcasts, screenshot it, click the contest tab in the SGPN app to submit it. You're good to go for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he's Ryan. Two week break to go to strip club, Sean <laughs> Kramer. Let it right.